Okay, so this little video is about the triangle sum theorem. And the triangle sum theorem is pretty simple, but it's something that's very, very important, pops up all the time in different types of problems. So here it is. The sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So that means if you take these three angles in this triangle and you add them together, you are going to get oh, my orange in color. So if you take these three angles, you're going to get A plus B plus C. And if you take their measures and add them, you're going to get 180 degrees. Very simple. So I have a little demonstration on Wolfram all pulled up. And let's take a look at that and see what that's like. All right here it is right here. Okay, so this little demonstration shows a triangle, and it shows three angles. So this angle, the green one here, measures 45 degrees. This one here measures 45 degrees, and this one here measures 90 degrees. Okay, so very simple. So if you take 45 plus 45 plus 90, you get 180. Over to the right here, what we see is a little uh, place where they've actually taken the shape of the maroon triangle and put it over here and then the blue triangle and put it here, and the green triangle and put it here. And you'll notice that the same measurements are here, 90 degrees, 45, and 45, and that all adds up to 180. Now you see that these three angles, their shapes, if you put them next to each other using the angle sum theorem, you end up with a straight angle, or 180 degrees. So that's so we can be sure that this is always 180 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and move one of these angles about and change its measurement. Let's say that we moved it over here. So now that it's over here, you can see the shapes all changed. This one's now 62.6, 64.3, and 53.1. Or if I, it shows the decibel way out, but it's not important. So it's just kind of rounded it. Okay, so if I do that, then look, it does not change the fact that if you add all three of them together, you still get 180 degrees. You still get this straight line, this straight angle here. And it doesn't matter which way I move the angles, if I move it way in here or out, or if I take this one here and move it in and kind of get an obtuse triangle a little bit there. There we go. See the red angle is 105 degrees. So now I've got an obtuse triangle. Still adds up to the straight angle. I can move this one over here. That one down there. See, no matter where I move these angles or no matter what their measurements are, you can see that as I'm moving it about, it always adds up to that straight line, that 180 degrees. Okay, so that is the concept of the triangle sum theorem. Okay, let's go back to our slideshow. All right, so next up, let's take a look at some problems and what this might look like in uh, class here. All right, so here's number one, and it says to find the missing angle or angles for each triangle. Okay, so in this one, we have one missing angle. It's labeled X right here. We're supposed to find this measurement. Well, how do we do this? Okay, it's very simple. All you do is you set up a little equation where you take 28 degrees plus 85 degrees plus X degrees equals a total of 180. Now, I really like to set up equations because... If these things start to get uh, turned into expressions, like this says x minus 2 instead of just x, then this is the easiest way to do it. If you want to, you can think of it as adding 28 and 85 and just subtracting from 180, which is what we're going to do anyways. But I prefer that you use an equation if you can. That way also you're kind of familiar with uh, writing equations. <coughs> Pardon me. So 28 plus 85, and that gives us 113 degrees plus x equals 180. Then all we have to do is subtract 113 from both sides, of course. And that gives us, using my rapid mental math, <laughs> you can hear my calculator clicking, uh, x equals 67 degrees. Okay. So this angle then would have to be 67 degrees because we know that the three angles of any triangle add 
to 180 degrees. So very, very simple. Very simple. You set up a little equation, solve it for what you're missing, and that's going to be your missing angle. Now let's take a look at one that's a little bit trickier. There's this one here. Okay, so it says find the missing angle or angles. Well, it kind of looks like there's two angles missing because I've only got one measurement written. I've only got 47 degrees here, and somehow I'm magically supposed to find X, even though I've only got one angle. Well, uh, as you probably have noticed, there's also this little box right here. So that, that means this is a right triangle, and that this little uh, box is telling us that this angle here is 90 degrees. So sometimes they'll do this and try to trick you and put a box instead of the measurements, but you know that this is 90 degrees right here and you can just solve the problem the same way you did before. So 47 plus 90 plus X equals 180. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and um, add 47 plus 90 and we get 137 degrees plus X equals 180 and then we're going to subtract 137 and that gives us uh, 43 degrees let's do that so X is equal to 40 Three degrees. There you go. Okay. All right. Why don't you try the next one on your own? See if you can do it. It's a little trickier. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video if you haven't. Give it a go. Okay. Hopefully, uh, you pause the video and give this a try. Now this one's kind of tricky because it has two X's. Hmm. But it's also giving us some information about this triangle. You can see these little marks right here. What that means is that this is an isosceles triangle. And so these X's are actually both the same. So this problem is solvable. Uh, all you have to do is do 36 degrees plus X plus X equals 180. And this little X got a little kind of missed it there. Okay, so if we're going to look at this problem, we know that in algebra we need to combine our like terms. So we get 36 degrees plus 2X equals 180 degrees. Come on now. Pen stop working again. The second time I've done this video because my pen just randomly started stopping in the middle and it's doing it again okay well I think we can finish anyways just kind of have to tap it every time it stops from now okay so then we uh, go and go ahead and subtract 36 degrees yeah it's just gonna keep doing it that's really rude so rude stop doing that okay I'm gonna subtract 36 degrees And that gives us 144 degrees. But that equals something. That equals 2x, you see. So because that equals 2x, we know that 2x equals 144. And then we have to divide by 2 on this one. So this one's a little bit different, but it's definitely doable. We're going to divide by 2. And 144 divided by 2 is 72 degrees. So I'm going to put the final solution over here. So x equals 72 degrees. Because after we divide it by 2, I'm going to just draw an arrow. Kind of run out of space. Okay. Very good. Make sure, uh, if you need to, go back and uh, look at these examples again. And uh, make sure that you have everything written down for the quiz.